Yo, what's up, man? Thrilly Throwbacks here, man. Guess what, man? We got team member, none other than Gunner. My brother. All right, so what's listen, on, I'm chilling, man. It was good. Not much, not much, man. I mean, we had a good day. We went to we went go shopping at, you know, St. BKB NYC. That's my man, fact. my man, Vintage, shout out to him. We got some dope. Definitely took care of us today. Man, man. Def love. definitely took care of us today. We got some dope stuff, dope past those show. We're going to get into that a little bit later. We ain't trying to show you that yet. We're going to try to cite y'all yet with that. We're going to get into that. But anyway, um, what we came to talk about today is basically 90s fashion for the men's now. Who influenced us, who we thought was dope coming up. Um, you know, so we're going to start off with my man Gunna Gunna. And he's going to explain to you, you know, different influences as he was coming up. Whether it be a rapper, actor, singer, that he kind of like took certain fashion, you know, tip from them and flipped it in his own way. Basically being inspired by them. So Gunna... So are we talking? We talking about uh, the, the Jersey game? It could be anything. The Jersey, Jersey snapbacks, um, jeans. It could be I anything. Mean, any type of hip hop wear, like street fashion or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I, I think for for me and my time it was really, really rockerwear. 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 Okay. That was that was that was the thing in you know the late nineties into the two thousands, the beginning of the two thousands. It was definitely rockerwear. Okay. Um, I wasn't a big Sean John person, honestly. Okay. Sean John was definitely tough, and I know a lot of people fuck with Sean John, but I was never a big Sean John person. Okay. Um, Rockwood, then if you want to go to Jersey, you know, everybody mess with Fab. Oh, yeah, we know that. Fab is pioneer throwback jerseys. I think he kind of put it on the map. Okay. But what I can say is Fab... Wasn't the one that did it for me. You know who one did it? For? It was um, maybe I'm biased. So I'm a rock with weird. I was a Jay fan. Mm -hmm. It was it was when Jay did that video with um, with Maya. Mm, yes, and he had the yeah. was that the North Carolina the shit? North Carolina mm. thing, and then Maya had the the cut off girl dress, North Carolina. Right. I thought that was I thought that was dope. That okay. Was, that was that was that was my my top ones. So that was your that was your top. That was my top. All right, so cool. Yeah. So let me know when you're done, cause I, you know, I want to make sure you're done before I get into mine. I'm, I'm good. You sure you got I'm, I'm good because that ran into me all the way into, okay. into high school. So okay. Anything after that, it just started bubbling all over the place and juggling all over the place. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So all right, so boom. So me, all right. I agree with everything that he just said. Like definitely, Jay Z was was a big influence. He's a pioneer. You know, come on, he's a trendsetter. We all know about that. Um, everybody he mentioned was, you know, was with Fab. Come on, we already know about that. But I'm gonna go back a little bit further. It's it's, it's quite a few people. So I'm gonna start off with Tupac. Um, Tupac, come on, like he was definitely one of the main guys starting out that really, really brought like that street urban, you know what I'm saying, style. You know what I mean? And he flipped it. And he kind of like he meshed it between high fashion and like how would people do today? He would wear Versace, but then wear snapback with it, or or wear like right. a jersey. And then, we're, you know, saying like he just he was very innovative, you know what I'm saying, with a lot of things. Like a lot of people do that today. Like we turned high fashion into streetwear. And Tupac was one of those guys that kind of pioneered that. Like, remember, you wear Versace, you copy my style. Like, mm -hmm. you've been doing that, you know what I mean? So Tupac, not, you know, not just with the jerseys and all that stuff, he definitely had a whole bunch of those. And you know, we're a jersey company, um, along with other, other custom um, clothing that we do. But Tupac is one of the main guys that we rock with. Um, who else? Um, I would have to say Jodeci. Don't forget, when, when Jodeci came out, heavy with the jersey game, heavy with the street, heavy with the snapbacks. I'm wearing a snapback right now. Yeah, jersey. Heavy. Jodeci. 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 Heavy. With, with, the, with the leathers. The leathers. <laughs> with the leathers. You know what Leather I'm saying? Jersey Leather jerseys. Leather jerseys. The, the, the custom, the custom <laughs> jean jackets the with their faces on the back of it, with the snapbacks and the shades. Look, I'm, yeah. I'm on some Jodeci tip right now. Yeah, you, you shades. Took it, you took it back, back. Took it back, back. That's the reason. Look, it still inspires me to this day. Go look at a jer yeah. Go look at a videos. Everything I'm wearing right now. You know what I'm saying? With the snapback, the, the shades. They've been doing that. Been doing that. So Jodeci is another one that inspired me in my fashion and stuff like that. Um, another one, Mace. Can't forget Mace. Mace, Mace was, yo, he had, yo, jerseys. He did, Mace definitely did jerseys. Um, he, you know what I'm saying? He did all the fashions that we did in the 90s. He definitely, you know what I'm saying, was definitely one of the, you know, uh, a, a trendsetter when it comes to, besides the shiny suits, but that really wasn't his, that wasn't him. That was more Puff. No disrespect, no disrespect to Puff. But that wasn't really Mace. That was Puff in his shiny suit. The we lock didn't really... said that too. Yeah, the lock, the lock, the lock said, said that. that. The lock said that. said that. That was Puff. Shout out to Puff. 
don't stop. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> take that, take that. Um, you know who else? I, I know I don't want to forget nobody, but I know those are my main guys. Um, of course, you know um, he mentioned Fab. You got you got to get Fab his props. But I was more like a Mace. I like I like Mace style even a little, little bit more. Um, am I forgetting anybody? I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to think. Now we can't. Man. I mean, it was um, quite a. It's, it was. You, you definitely took it back to we, a couple of people I that did their thing. I took. I took it back to a couple yeah, of people yeah. that definitely did their thing. Yeah, those are the people that did your impact. Definitely. Well, th yeah, those are the people who definitely did my impact. Yeah. It definitely was Tupac, Jodeci, Mace. Those are like my top three. But I know it's, it's some. It's somebody else. I'm probably forgetting. I'm just trying to get my hand on. I'm trying to. Oh, Nas. Can't forget Nas. about. It. Nas, yeah. What Nas was doing? Nas, but Nas did a little bit of everything. Nas was, he was fly too. He had some shit. You don't think so? Don't For know. me, I, I like, I like I, the I way. I don't know about gear wear and all of that. <laughs> you like Esco? Yeah, we're not, if this was a rap conversation, yeah, we could throw Nas in it. Uh, <laughs> he said, well, he, he said no to Nas. And, and, and listen, yeah, this how. I, I don't think anybody said, yo, yo Nas. He was fly. He, he wasn't. He was some fly shit. He was, some, he was fly. Nas. I, I just thought he was regular. You thought he was regular? Like, I didn't think he had anything that really stand out. You don't think so? I thought he was, I yeah. thought he was I fly. I don't think he had an era stand out with You don't fashion. think so? No? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, listen. Everybody, My opinion. My that's opinion. his opinion. And, that, and that's what we want everybody to do. We want everybody to chime in. Everybody give their opinions, you know, um, in the comments below. Um, also, before we even get out of here, I want y'all to um, add um, HT Gunner. You know what I mean? On Instagram. That's, that's your Instagram? HT Gunner. HT Gunner. Add him. And of course, add three throwback as well. Um, and if if he don't have anything to say, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up with words of encouragement. Let me just say something real quick. Mm -hmm. um, Thrilly, I love you. I love everything that you're doing. Love you've been my brother since, since shit. Since Forever. High school. Forever. 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 Yeah, is plus years added on to this. He's doing his thing. And not only he's doing his thing on, mm -hmm. on, on this, He's actually giving back to the community. A lot of people really don't know. You know what I mean? So with all this stuff that's going on in the world, before all this shit was happening, Joe was giving back. He was doing Christmas stuff and giving gifts. I remember that with the McDonald's thing and yeah. doing all of that. You know what I mean? And he's still doing it to this day. So um, support my man and everything that he's doing. Watch the movement. It's dope. I'm part of the movement. 100%. He got me 100%, 100%. on it. Like. Right. And, and that's just that's just what it is. It's real family shit. There ain't no suckers. Ain't no suckers here. You know what I mean, not. and as much love, man. I appreciate everything love you, that bro. you're doing, man. Love you, bro. You know I got your back 100. percent Definitely, bro. definitely. And I want on camera. I want to say right back to him. I reciprocate that. And like I said, without my family, is there's no me. And and they understand something like this. We all nobody could do it by themselves. We all need that that group of people that's going to help us get to that next level because we all going to come up together and that's what we got to do as a people you know what i'm saying we got to stop just you know coming out here thinking i could do this i could do this no yes you could do it but understand something when you have a force behind you and and like people like him who's intelligent who's smart who's doing great things himself and who's just a great man in general a great human being somebody who i love and honor we need this to keep us going and that's why we always will be team and that's what it is, bro. Straight up. But hold up, before we before we go out, let me give my words of encouragement because I do this every video. So now, anybody out there, I, I think we should touch on this. Anybody out there who's lost somebody, because there's a lot of people that's you know unfortunately passing away. It's hard. It's hard. We understand it's hard. But we want y'all to understand something, man. You gotta take every day, and I don't know what you believe in. I hope you believe in some type of higher power, power, but you need to really pray, pray, and meditate. And that's the only thing that's going to really help you through this process. Not really the process, excuse me, this situation that's, that you're going through. Um, it's unfortunate. It's sad. But we want to encourage you today to let you know that you got people out here that genuinely care about your situation. Um, people out here that have, that have sympathy for you, have empathy for you in your situation. So anybody who's going through any type of death, any type of loss, whether it be COVID-19 or any, you know, any type of, you know, sickness or whatever, anybody who's lost somebody, we want to give our deepest condolences. And we just want to encourage you to just take it day by day, stay in prayer and, you know, and, and seek out whatever, whatever uh, um, um, support system that you got, use that use that and whether it be a friend family member co-worker whoever who you feel 
as a support system, use whoever you have around you to get through it. It's not easy, but just trust that people out here really do care. All right? So we're going to send that, that word of encouragement out to y'all today. Salute. We out. Three throwbacks. Really?